Hello everyone and welcome back to the Poopcast. Um my name is Anthony and joining me today is the co host Connor. How are you doing, Connor? I is fine. So we've um we decided to come back. We've been away for a little while and we're gonna uh wanna do another episode today for you guys. So uh make sure to leave some comments and stuff in the comments, that'll be that'll be awesome. So we've got um we've got quite a few little things to talk about today. Uh should we maybe start with a bit of transfer talk, Connor? Transfers, transfers, yeah, yeah. Yes. So um there's been quite a few big transfers. Big money um, Exactly. We'll start with obviously the most expensive, uh, Luis Suarez. He's um, he's went to Barcelona for I believe seventy five million. Yes, that's what I read. Um, which is, which is a. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think that's a good fee? I mean, he's one of the best strikers in the world, but I honestly. I- Usually, when it comes to big money signings, I'm like, I'm straight there. I'm like, yep, that's good, that's bad. I'm actually don't know. Yeah, I really don't know as far as well, myself. I think, I think, I think it's a good amount based off his form. Um, he's got, like, he's got the goal scoring prowess to be worth that much. Yeah, I just, uh, my opinion, sixty million or like something like that would have been a bit better. But maybe that's just me career mode uh, stinginess coming in. <laughs> I don't know because. Like, like, I don't know, reports are saying that he's got this, like, biting colours in his contract. If you take bite somebody, he loses, like, 50% of his wages and stuff like that. But, I don't know. It's <laughs> well, like... He's, he's going to be pretty skinned soon, then. Cause I don't he... know what he's going to be like in the Spanish League. Yeah. I reckon he's probably just going to, like, tear it up in the Spanish League. Because you've got the Dibs mate in goal. And, oh, good you know, point. The, well, I don't get, though, about Barcelona. Is Barcelona usually the team that likes to surround the team with good people? Like, like yeah. Good wills. Well, like, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Suarez is a good person. Just I don't think he knows how to get his frustration out, right? You know. But I had, a, I thought he bit that. I thought he bit Kaylin at the World Cup anyway, so he would get transferred. So he, that's what I think anyway. No, I, I don't think he would. That would have been a strange way to do it because he remember he just got into the Champions League with Liverpool, and he just signed a new contract with Liverpool. Yeah, exactly. He signed a new contract. He said he was very happy. He wants to stay. And he wants to help Liverpool win the Champions League. Bloody bloody. Right, everybody will be saying that to the fans, are really, aren't they? Like, yeah, and it then. just uh, it just doesn't make sense to me. He should have just like if he was going to do anything, he should have just headbutted him or something. <laughs> do Zidane. the news of Dan. Do the news of Dan. I just just go mental, Jeff. But I right, so seventy five million. It's a lot of money for him, and uh, I think that the next big one that's been Chelsea. rumored anyway is uh, James Rodriguez. I think. I've heard a few reports. To Real Madrid? Yeah, to Real Madrid, aye. I, um, that could happen. I just don't understand. I mean, Monaco, it doesn't... Money does no object to them. It's just so... It, it's just... They can sell them if they want, you know? They could sell them for 10 million if they wanted to and make a massive loss because they've got enough money. So... But uh, that would be an incredible signing for Real bit. Madrid. Because he's... St- is he 21? 23, 20, I think. Is he? He's 21. young. Ah, he's he's still really young, and he did fantastic in the World Cup. Six goals out of eight games, wasn't it? Did yes. He, I think he got an assist as well. I'm not entirely sure, but but uh, ah, he had a really good tournament, and I think he deserves a move to a better team than Monaco because Monaco is just like at the minute when you look at the team, it just doesn't look special. You know what I mean? There's like a few good players. And then the rest of the team just mm. looks average. You know what I mean? They've got, like, Moutinho. Uh, they've got, like, Falcao and all them players. And then you've got just, like, you know, like, random other players. And it's, yeah, I think he deserves the move. So that's uh, not even the best I, business that Real Madrid's did, in my yeah, opinion. How, how much do you think he'll go for, though? I'm thinking 45 million. 30. You're going for 30. I'm just going like ridiculous because the form he had from the World Cup. But you said Monaco, it's no money. Monaco is not an option for money. Money, yeah. Monaco. Words. Yeah. Exactly. What are words? But uh, also, Real Madrid, being busy bees, this transfer, and they've also just signed Tony Cruz. That, that is the sign, and I'm impressed with that. What is a, a sign. And, and the money pay. as well, they paid from them. Did not pay that much money for I saw, an, a, I saw a really interesting thing. You're like this. I saw it on Twitter, right? Lalana, right? Which we'll talk about in, this, in, in a bit. Went to uh, Liverpool with twenty five million. Yep. He's only won the Johnstone Pain Trophy in his career, right? Twenty five million. Tony Cruz has won like the World Cup Bundesliga. six six Bundesliga titles, I think. 
and like all these accolades, and they've gone for twenty four million. And it's just like that is some like wheeling and dealing, Jeff. Uh, you know some great I mean? business. I will, like, I'll pro- he's one of the best passers in the world, and uh, to be honest, I think he's worth a bit more than twenty million. Oh yeah, definitely, he's worth more than twenty four. I don't know how they pulled that off. There must have been some uh, some. Uh, was sweet talk and get the deal done, you know what I mean? The thing is, though, I bet you Man United were offering about the same amount of money from as well. Probably. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's because Real Madrid just won the Champions League. He's like, I want to go there. Man United aren't in the Champions League. For once in, like, how long? So, <laughs> yeah, I know, it's crazy. Um, but, like, I, I think what he's just going to be amazing. Imagine his FIFA 15, like, just him, stats. Not him and Isco playing in the midfield. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. It's really going to be... And he's still relatively young. Is he 24? Oh, yeah, that, he's 24. Am I, am I right in saying he's 24? Um, All right, sir. Yes, thank you. But um, he's such an unbelievable player. He's one of them players that I like because he sits deep in the midfield and he works hard. Well, like, of like McAleary, like all these sort of CDM, holding CDMs, you know what I mean? Almost like a, a third centre-back. Almost, you know. A fourth, if you're playing three at the back. Oh yeah, but I was just saying as if it would be a hypothetical four-four-two. Yeah. But so the next piece of business should we move on to Liverpool's because they've been making some good. Oh signs. yeah, they've been. Uh, the first one I'll talk about is uh, is Markovic you forgot, because I you signed, I signed him on the uh, Wickham career mode. Yeah. Oh, and, you uh, did as well, didn't you? Yeah, he's he was amazing on the Wickham career mode, um, and I was like. This guy's amazing. Like, how's how's no one signed him up yet? You know what I mean? And uh, ah, he's he's went to Liverpool, so it'll be interesting to see. Is he nineteen? He's either nineteen or twenty-one, Connor. I'm not sure, but he's really young. He's from Serbia, and he's 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 really decent. He's really decent. Uh, I think they're going for twenty-five. Was that his bio clause? Yep. But uh, I also uh, they've got. Liverpool got Ricky Lambert, uh, Adam, Le- Lallana. Adam Lallana, uh, Emre Can from oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Leverkusen. Leverkusen. Ten million. I, I, I thought he was a buyer. Not uh, not by Leverkusen. That's. No, I thought he was at Munich. No, no. Oh, was he? I thought he. No, I know he signed from Leverkusen, but I always used to think he was from Munich. Oh wow, well, you've got a stunt there. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's how I always thought he was from. Because I know it was from Leverkusen, but I, I can swear I saw him at Munich. Yeah, that, that might be on FIFA. Maybe we're thinking of FIFA, I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, but he went for 10 million. Maybe a little bit overpriced, but I nah, suppose. Liverpool's I suppose overpaid he's got, in every transfer, in my opinion. I, I, I'm, I'm sure he's got the potential to be worth that, though. Um, have they signed anyone else? Yeah. Um, I, I, know, I know they're going after Lovren. I cannot believe that. Well, they were chasing Sanchez, but Arsenal swiped the swoop yeah. before the I cannot believe that uh, Liverpool are thinking about paying twenty-five million for Dejan Lovren. Mm. It's like that's the most retarded. The, like, the, they're overspending on everybody, though. Like everybody they bought so far, they've no, overspent. It's like when you're on career mode and you've had no money, and then you get loads of money and you start spending it all. You know, it's but, just. It's like me on what, FM last you know, season. Uh-huh. Signing Mandzukic and Robin van Persie to West Ham. Mandzukic went to Atletico. Oh, t- oh yeah. <laughs> Seven for seventeen million, which is See, a good segue deal. right there. That was an amazing segue by me, thank you very much. But uh, oh, yeah, he went for seventeen million. I think that's a good deal, do you? Definitely, Mandzukic is an established mm. watcher of the ball. He is. He's. Uh, if, you, no, if you knock the ball in the, the box, it, him or closer, that's who you want on the end of it. Yeah. Two clinical strikers like that. Closer, what a World Cup he had getting the, Respect, the record. I know, such such a legend. Oh, by the way, did you know as well? Uh, I think it's today. Uh, breaking news: uh, Philip Lahm had re- is just yeah. retired from international football. I'm kind of sad about that. I like to watch him play. And in- yeah, he's he's such a legend, and uh, he'll be he'll be missed uh, from uh, the Germany team. Definitely. Who do you think Germany could replace him with? Because I don't think they have any established right backs like for him. Uh, I don't know. They might play like Boateng there. That one from Fulham. <laughs> <laughs> Reitha. What's, what's his name? Reitha. Guys. Reitha Franklin. 
Exactly, you put a right to front and a right back. But uh, I, I, I don't know. It's I think they'll probably switch Boateng because I know they've been playing the uh, Boateng at like right back sometimes. Oh yeah, but, uh, Boateng can probably drop in. He's got the pace to play there. Has Sunderland signed anyone or not? Ex- no, except from the three free transfers. Well, who did they get? Costel Pantilamon. Oh, they got Pantilamon. Yep, six foot oh, eight. Right. Well, yeah, he's going to be he be a great uh, replacement, Gook, if uh, Manone gets injured. Yeah, that's him and Manone are battling for number one. Billy Jones, he's a full-back from West Brom, established Prem player. Yeah. And Jordi Gomez from Wigan. All right. Which I'm happy about that one. I think he's a good passer of the ball. Yeah, he's he's a decent little player. He's had he's had a few uh, like really good matches. I remember on match of the day when Wigan mm. were playing. He, long he's, shots, passes. I'm yeah, happy with that signing. Yeah, the best thing is with someone as well is they're getting these people on freeze, so they're not Kinda wasting all the money. Uh, but if they want to get someone, they've still got the money. No, we are mean? looking. We are bringing people in. We're just making sure it's the right people. Who have they been linked with? Uh, Christian you know? Rodriguez from Uruguay. What? What about? Is that Diego Capel still being linked? Not what I. Not what I can say. Joe, that guy from uh, uh, is it Spawn Lisbon. The one, the skiller who's like on on the left wing. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but um. Because I remember, didn't you say before that he was linked with Newcastle and Sunderland? Uh, with, with yeah. With loan deals, I think we're going to loan him in. Yeah, not nothing came from it. Oh, by the way, something else hilarious happened regarding someone who I had on my career mode. Ooh. Ryan Ryan Gold from. Uh, Oh yeah, from Dundee. He went to Sporting, Sporting, Lisbon. Sporting, Sporting Lisbon for three million. But check this shit out. It's He's like, got a sixty million release clause. Was that how much he went to Sporting for? I thought they paid a lot more for him. No, they only paid three million because he's eighteen. Uh, and then they've got a sixty million release clause. They must have been watching my career mode and realised his potential, and saw them stats. Or they've like, been hacking into my FM. See if... Oh, did he get him on the FM? Hell yeah, he's kid became one of the best. Actually, no, I sold him. Then I brought up this player from the youth academy who was like 10 times better. Alright. Yeah, but Ryan Goldman stepping it up, going to Sport in Lisbon. Should I be interesting know. to see how he does, considering like they are in the Europa League. The I thing think. is about Portuguese, that he's not going to get tested there, if you think. Cause... Well, I, I, the, the Portuguese League is very uh, sort of skillful. You know, it's like the Brazilian League, lots of dribbling. You'll have to get used to the weather as well. Yeah. Ah, he's from Scotland. They'll be used to like rain and like snow all the time. It's like red out there. But that'll be an interesting sign and see how he develops. Because you never know. In a few years, Ryan Gold could be like the next big thing. Brock Lesnar. Mm. No, the problem is with him. I find anyway. Yes, they made this good money signing, but th- that buyout clause he's gonna have to be good for someone to uh, want to do that. Oh yeah. He's like, can you remember when uh, Porto were like just starting to like get good and had people like Hulk? And Falcao still on the team, yeah. and they started putting ridiculous buyout clauses because they knew the Pete would swoop in for them. See, that's good business. Like the, I think at at one time before Hulk left Senate, he was linked with Chelsea and like uh, all these other teams for like had a, like sixty million buyout clause, and it's just ridiculous, man. Like the the tie these people down before they get big, and then when they get big, well, that's kind of a bit of a segue to my next team I was about to talk about. All right, okay. Newcastle been doing a lot of business, but yeah. with their uh, Siam De Jong. Oh, funny story. Sorry to interrupt you here. <laughs> Joe Luke De Jong. Yes. Right? They didn't mean to sign him on loan. Oh, I've heard about they, that. They meant to sign his brother, Siam De Jong, who they've just signed, but instead they signed Luke De Jong. And uh, it was just like... Really? That just shows you how poorly run football teams are these days you know what I mean or bad excuses like, I don't know it's like surely surely a big club like Newcastle who's got a, all these big stadium all these like people working for them and stuff how do they get that wrong like do people like not read there or something they're just like yeah yeah just put it through put the forms through who cares so yeah <laughs> sign, sign Dave's mate down the street he, he can come and play but you know? yeah um, Newcastle signed him for about 6 million I think is, isn't he an attacking midfielder? Yes, he is. he is. Yeah. Do you know what Newcastle need? Just a, a new defence. They need a new defence. Yeah. Like, get new centre-backs. New, uh, the, the, did they replace Debushi? Yes. I think they, didn't they buy that... Uh, Van Dijk. 
or something. Van, is it not uh, Jan Matt? Yes, uh, Jan Matt, I think. Aye, aye. I don't know much about him. Uh, he, he played in the World Cup, so I mean, he's he's obviously good enough to get in the Nether Netherlands team. Let's be uh, honest, though, there's not many good fullbacks for the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, I mean, there used to be. I don't know if there is now, but. Yeah, not now. But yeah, yeah the, every uh, signing yeah, they've think... made, they've yeah. tied down to a six year deal, and that only means one thing. Newcastle's looking to sell them on after two seasons once they have a good season. Yeah. Because you don't put people on a six year deal and expect to keep them. Yeah, a lot of all the clubs these days sign people on like five, six year deals, and you're like, they're not going to last that long. Some of them anyway. Hard to do it to sell them, them on do. in the future. S some of them do, but it depends how good they are. If they're good, no way. They're not lasting six years. You know, especially with how football is, is these days. Mm. You know, I mean, look at Man U, you know, like the stuff that can change so quickly. Being the, one of the best be teams like, to one of the biggest jokes. Yeah, and then it's just like it can change qu that quickly overnight, and someone might be like, I don't want to stay here if we're not in Champions League or we're not winning the title, you know, and then they'll just leave. And they might have only been there like a season or something, mm. you know? It's happened before, but. Uh, there's, there's been quite a few transfers. Chelsea? You, we, we haven't Chelsea? spent oh, yeah. 60 million gonna, on two players. They've got... Uh, do you know what's funny? The sign says Fabregas. And everyone seemed to have just like... Forgot almost about f Just forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I was about to mention that actually. World class centre midfielder. Great Fabregas, passer of the ball. Right? Great striker of the ball. World class player. I don't know how much to sign him for. Probably 30, 30 million. million. 25, 30 months. 30 on the dot. And like, no one's talking about him. I'm like. And Diego Costa? Yeah, they signed Diego Costa. I believe by the time this goes up, I think they might be sealing the Felipe Luiz deal. They have, they've already done it, I think. For, for 12 million. They've already I think. done it. Yeah. He lo it like, when I've seen him on like FIFA and stuff, he looks good. I don't know what he's like in real life, but. I don't like him because of his hair, but I got his inform card once on FIFA. Yeah. In a park. He looks a bit like an elf off like a Fable game or something, you he know does. what I mean? Fable's a good game. Yeah. <laughs> but um I like it. there's been some really good uh like rumours as well, like Mar uh, Liverpool bidding forty four million for Marco Royce. Oh damn we forgot about talking about Arsenal Alexi Sanchez. Yeah, we'll get on to that now. But uh I saw um Marco Royce to Liverpool, imagine that. Oh, I'd love Marco Royce, he's oh. one of my most favourite players to watch in the world right imagine, now. Imagine, imagine being a goalkeeper and having Marco Royce and Sterling running at you. You would, shit, you would shit bricks. Quick feet, good strikers of the ball. Marco Royce is such a talented player. I can remember when he was, just before he got, like, started to get known at uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach, he was like, he looked so good on the ball. And now he's just, just world class. You know what I mean? He's one of them players. Centre forward, left wing, right wing. You'd stick him in centre mid. Centre forward. Back. You know, you can stick him anyway. You could probably put him bloody right back if you wanted to. But like, I wouldn't want him though, like. Oh, yeah, no, nah, but I'm just saying he's like one of them players. He's, he's, he's like, no, yeah, you could stick him anywhere in the pitch and he'd play well. Yeah. Oh, we, we need. Uh, once we've talked about the transfers, we need to talk about uh, well, not, not Neuer's karate kick. Because that was fantastic. <laughs> it was. I was marking out over that karate kick. But, I, mean, I was uh, crying and left when I saw that. But I uh, like there's been uh, there's been some good signings, and Sanchez for Arsenal was one of them. Oh, um, that was a I love Sanchez. Like he's a quality winger. The question is, hypothetically speaking, say you're Arsenal Wenger now, where do you stick Sanchez? He's fantastic on the right side. On of the, the right, attack. probably. Or you could stick him up front, but because of his size and his strength. I don't think he was going to play in the centre. Nah. I really don't. Well, when was the last player you can remember that was like really quick and could beat a Premier League defence? A Premier League defence is strong and well-coordinated. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be like very many fast, small strikers. I mean, you've got Aguero and Suarez. Aguero's strong. But like, it's just like, you don't see like, Sanchez see, has got a small I'm... frame. He's got a small frame to him. I just don't think he'll be a good striker. People underestimate Aguero. Aguero is a strong and he's got a hard work rate. Yeah. You kind of fault that in the lad. Uh, he's, the thing is with Aguero, though, he, he's picked up the Michael Owen syndrome. Oh, you damn, know? I forgot a Real, Real Madrid transfer. Sorry, but we'll just jump back. That's right. yeah. I think his name is Kayla Navas, the Croatian goalkeeper. Uh, you're talking the Costa Rica one. Yeah, yeah, Costa Rica. He got signed to Real Madrid. That's crazy. That's what I was saying, how something can change quickly overnight. 
Yep. That guy's career is just went it's just went up like ten floors on that on like in, in his career. I was know? gonna say what, what, he played will he for get Levante. Will he, get he, played, he played for Levante in La Liga. Average mid mid table club in La Liga doesn't really achieve much. This he's, he's just, he was a good goalkeeper before that, but no one knew of him. You know, he's a very hidden goalkeeper. One good World Cup, you see. And then he had an outstanding World Cup. So did Costa Rica, which we'll talk about in our World Cup segment. And look at his career. He's went to Real Madrid. You know? One of the he's biggest got, teams. If you think moment. about it, he'll be their new number one goalkeeper. How Diego old is he? Diego Lopez is, is old. And, like, I think they'd be wanting to get rid of him. Yeah. Cassias is, Never like, a lot. Cassias is the last cause now. Never gets a game. Yeah. That World Cup was... I felt so bad for Cassius. Yeah, he was doing okay, though, to be honest. I really respect Cassius for what he's done, like, since I was, like, since I was watching footy as a kid over the years and that. I really appreciate, like, how, like, how hard he worked and stuff. That's how I feel about Cesar. But he's just... He had an absolute meh at the World Cup. He had a few good games, but then he had some games where it was like... But we have to admit, though... I doubt many people could have stopped that Netherlands attack. Oh no, the Netherlands, on, the Dutch on, D. On, on the, exactly, the Dutch D penetrating the Spanish defence. There was just no chance. But uh, I so should we maybe? Uh, can you think of any other things? Is Vidal? We can talk about Vidal possibly being linked with Man United. The United transfers. How did we forget them? They've been spending a bit of money. Yes, the how. <laughs> <laughs> Say good thing, I'm here. I'm, that, I'm that, that Bill Bow player, Harara, I think. Something like yeah, that. It, well, who gives a shit about him? He's probably going to be crap. He lost. But, yeah. uh, you've got Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw's that uh, overpaid. I don't, actually, I don't know. So overpriced. He is. But, I hate the argument that it was is, for the future. How old is he, 19? Or yeah. is he still 18? 19. He's 19, right? He co- he's got another maybe 15 years in his career. He's in the England team already, so he's got that under his belt. Yeah, but he's got the defensive uh, skill of a potato. Yeah, well, potatoes are going to defend. But um, I, I think, give him time, dude, I think he'll be a killer left-back for Man United. I don't, but, honestly, I hate the idea of two... I like, but the thing is, can, he's two attacking. Exactly. They're, they're going to have to get a defensive right-back. Obviously, I know Marcus Alonso was an attacking left back, and Danny Rose yeah. over the years for Sunderland, but they knew, knew how to defend Marcus to a Alonso point. Marcus Alonso was the left winger for Sunderland that was <laughs> the never the never knew. You know? <laughs> but he did the job. He was a great player. He did when we were at the matches. He was attacking more than the bloody left mid. You know what I mean? He was getting up there, and he was getting mental, Jeff. But uh, I saw thirty million for sure. Uh, make sure to leave your comments in the comment section, guys, uh, of what you think of Shaw. Because like Have I, I said, anyone else? he's got the potential. I'm not. I don't think we are. But we can talk about like Pogba maybe leaving Ooh, Juventus. Chelsea, he's linked to Chelsea. Yeah, uh, Pogba uh, is is. I don't know if Juventus said they're, they're gonna sell him or not, or whether or not it's Pogba. I don't maybe. think they will. To be honest, he to me is like another good midfielder. I like to watch the player. Yeah. Do you know what I hate it when people say, "Oh, Man United made a mistake by selling them." No, they didn't. He, he obviously wasn't good enough at the time. And then, when he went to another team, obviously he yeah, got caught a kick up the arse and realised, you know, this is my chance to to perform. You know, at the time, Man United were like, this guy we've got in our youth team, Paul Pogba, he's not doing that well. He's not progressing the way we want to. We'll sell him to Juventus. And then Juventus put him in. Next thing you know, he's a world beater in midfielder, you know. He wanted more money in the youth team, that's why he left United. They didn't uh, want to give him like a proper contract in the youth team. Joe, so. why it is, it's to pay for them stupid haircuts he has. To <laughs> dye his hair and that. <laughs> Probably. He has a new haircut every week, like Ronaldo. <laughs> but, uh, I saw uh, Vidal linked to Man United. Vidal will not go to Man United. Like I'm Vidal. sorry, I'm sorry, Man United fans, but you have to realise that Vidal is like Juventus's. Like Engine. best best player, I, I would say, and they would not let him go to Man United because Man United are in the Champions League. Well, not not now they're not, but they used to be, and they wouldn't want to sell them to someone who could possibly like knock them out the Champions League. Come back to haunt them. Yeah, exactly. 
because I think that's what happens these days with certain transfers. It's like if they don't, if they think they're a threat, they're not going to like sell them to that club. But if they think, ah, it's all right, we'll probably not meet them there anyway. They'll probably just sell them. It'll be interesting to see if Diego Costa comes back up against Atletico Madrid in the uh, this season's uh, Champions League. That imagine if he like knocked them out. How hilarious would that be? But um. Yeah, there's loads of football talk. Should we move on to the uh, World Cup? Hell yeah. I right. Watched, I watched so, every game. <laughs> you watched every game? I did. Uh, I think I watched like three games. I watched every one. I was really bad. The thing is with me, a lot of the times, a lot of the World Cup games, they're like, pe- the teams are normally like too scared half the time to make... No, this t- World Cup was completely different. F- I know, the f- and that's that's why I was watching some of them, because normally I would, wouldn't bother, but some of the games have been awesome. I was really impressed, right, with the United States. Oh, the US. The, they may have lost, but I'd, they won our hearts. If 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 I if I was American, I would be extremely proud that of the the national team and Tim and, Howard and Tim Howard's beard. Because that's an incredible beard. I'm sorry, but can his we, beard. Can we shout his, out to Tim Howard's beard. Exactly, Tim Howard's uh, beard segment should be a thing. But uh, yeah, it's just the United States fought for everything and I, I love that when I see people like do like work and how do like closer in yes, the final I was just trying to imagine Close, hearts closer. on fire exactly. just, uh, it was yeah. funny when they, in, in the extra time against uh, oh, who knocked them out was it the uh, uh, Belgium yes I was like all they need now is 80s trainer montage music and they're gonna do this exactly. I was like if Rocky 4 starts playing now then the, the ginger gonna... bell end struck <laughs> the ginger belt, <laughs> but uh, I just my favorite team of the tournament, though I think is the United States. I think they just played they played well. Surprisingly, you wouldn't think the United States team would play well. They played really well. I mean, they didn't play obviously super well. Otherwise, they would have got through. But they played really well. The determination, the fight was there, and I think most of all, the belief was there that they can win. For me, you know. And I think I think that's what you need sometimes. I had know? two favorite teams in the World Cup to watch. Obviously, the big one was Germany. I always knew they were going to play well because I love their yeah. playing mentality. But yeah, the, the, so good. The small so good team German. I was rooting for was probably Costa Rica. Yeah, uh, I agree. Costa Rica, man. What what a show of just team spirit. You know what I mean? And fight. Not a, not a lot of teams these days have. They were almost like brothers on the pitch. They were. You know what I mean? They're going and, out like they're going to war. Yeah, and uh, they've got my respect for that. Yeah. You know, the hopefully the the uh, I was thinking I was like, imagine if Costa Rica got to the final. You know what I mean? It would be amazing. That would definitely have to have eighties trainer montage music. You know, but uh, great World Cup though. I have to say this World Cup was one of my favourites from the matches that I watched. I didn't like the Africa one. Nah, uh, that was one of the worst ones in a while, that one. The, the Vuvuzelas, it just thought, like, the way the football was played, the final was crap. It was and, so tame. Uh, well, to yeah. be fair, the, the final of this one wasn't really the best until uh, Gersa I, turned up. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the thing is, when when you, look at, when you look back at the final, I actually thought it was, like, quite a decent game. It had, like, drama, it had, like, tension, had everything you want in a final. But... It just, I just felt like the, the, they were too evenly matched. Like, it was literally like playing someone who knows you in real life on FIFA and they know what you, how you play and what you're going to do. Just constant battling. There was not, there's not a lot of shots. Wasn't there? Like. And what do you think of Higuain's miss? Because I think when he missed that, should be put that, down. Was the, that was it. It should be put down. Yeah, uh, they should just like put him against the wall and Tommy Gunn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I think I like Tommy Gunn. I like it. Uh, it's amazing. But uh, Higuain, man, what are you doing, son? Get your shit together, mate. You're an established right? striker. You can't be doing that. You take it down and you finesse it. All right. R1 circle or RB RB. What's it? RBB. I'm it sorry, that? but I could finish it. That what hit? I could finish it. Yeah. Like, the thing is, I understand there's an insane amount of pressure, but Hummels was probably two paces behind him. Definitely. And I, I really think he could have he took a better shot. 
He had I mean, a good World it's, Cup as well. It is difficult to beat Manuel Neuer sometimes. Sometimes. And, and he's, he's a quality goalkeeper. But I really think if he took his time, he could have done it. And that goal could have proved so, like... Vital? Vital for the Argentinian team. I mean, when he scored... That was a, he, he made up for it. But it was with an offside goal. Great run. Great first time hit. But it was offside. You know? And it's unfortunate, but... That's just the way the cookie crumbles in that situation, you know. And um, ultimately, they paid the price, and the Germans, who I thought had a great match, you know. Um, shout out to Closer. Uh, a lot of respect for Closer for what he's done. But now a World Cup and, legend. And did you see that man working that game? Horse. He's fantastic. All over the pitch, running for balls. I tackling. wanted him to score again. He even made a few tackles. I might like, the guy's like thirty five or something. Or thirty four. And maybe a bit more. And it's just like that's awesome. I wanted Norm- him to score again, like big in the record. I want I wanted him to like get a goal in the final t- to have like an ultimate send off and then he could like retire. I don't know if he will retire though, to be honest. Yeah. I think he should because it'll be forty in the next World Cup, but yeah, I think he'll still play, you know. Uh, he's he, still good. His, his his what play his play style, you don't need a lot of stamina to play his style. Does he still play for Lazio? Yes, he does. I think. Does he? I'm sure he does. But uh, I like the Germans went through a a, a, a goat. <laughs> I I say... it just didn't impress me for the German team as much as the other players did. Schweinsteiger, he just didn't turn up like he used to. Uh... He had a good game. He had good, but he wasn't like how he Schweinsteiger used to be. In my opinion. Schweinsteiger is such a such a funny character. Um, he's getting battered all over the match. Exactly. Like, he lit- Cut eye, he was just fighting on. I was like, What a lad! And then you see after the game where he's like, He's like kissing Podolsky, and that it was good, hilarious. Yeah. And his kid, Podolsky, uh, and Podolsky's kid got more like recognition than the whole German yeah. World Cup. Also, did. shout out to the German wags. Oh, definitely Schweinsteiger and Goethe's, Goethe's misses. Oh. Ooh. Now the new tube. I've actually. I'm, I'm, I'm going to scare this now, and we're going to do it. We're going to do right. a top 10 German wag. That's what we're doing. We're doing it. We'll... Stop do top 10 wags. I think yes. that would be a good idea. Make sure to leave your comments, guys, on if you would want to see that. Me and Anne will sort this out in the next week, and we'll, bring you, we'll bring you a top 10 wags. Yeah, we can, we can, we can do it, and it'll be, uh, it'll be fun to quote-unquote research. Expect that next week. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm looking forward to doing I, um, that. I just made that up on the spot, and I'm quite happy I did that now. <laughs> Oh, long show. But uh, I, I'm really, I'm really impressed with the German team. I think, I think they'll end up winning the Euros as well. I really do. And a big I shout think. out to Holland as well. They had a good fight. Holland had a good team. Also, I want to shout out to Robin because he what had a, he had a great World Cup. Apart from he's, dive. he's diving. I mean, the thing is, at the end of the day, you've got to, you've got to like. I wouldn't say cheat to get ahead sometimes, but sometimes if the game's so such an important game, you just have to do the, it. The thing is, no? people like oh, like it's like oh, it's, you should play fair, but it's like in that situation you want to win so bad. Exactly, he's got he's got the desire. He's got the know? he had the yeah. option to get a penalty there. You, honestly, it's like if you see you can't say that you wouldn't take it. You would in that situation. I think as well, it's because like it, I think the people on the, from the other country obviously would complain. But I think if your if your team like mate did it, I don't think you would complain because obviously you're wanting them to to like get the penalty and stuff. And I suppose that's just the way football is now. Like y- you can get a penalty off something incredibly soft. You know, like when Thiago Silva brought down Robin, soft penalty. Nah, that when, was uh, a stonewall penalty for me. Like, there's a few being at soft penalties, but I suppose that's just how it is now. You know, you could be like, all right, mate, and he would fall over, and you've got a penalty. That penalty, that Thiago... Are you talking about the the runner-up? For the runner-up? Yes, I am. That was a stonewall penalty, mate, that. Yeah, where he's pulling them back. Should I tell you why? It's the same reason that uh, Conor Wickham getting pulled yeah, down yeah, by against. Exactly. If a foul starts outside the box and continues in the box, it's a penalty. penalty also stonewall. A uh, in my opinion, I think he should have been sent off. Yeah, if that, that rule, because a Cardiff player got sent off when we were there, because that, because of that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I, I think the Euros is going to be very interesting. 
you know, to see if Spain bounce back, bounce back, Holland that, step uh, up, had a horrific World Cup, ridiculous. Um, but I suppose that's what happens when you get a bit cocky and you you've won the you've won the they won the Euros, didn't they? And mm-hmm. then they won the World Cup. Death of the Tiki Taka football. I don't think it's the death of that. But I tell you what, it is the death of midfield. Their midfield. Too I old. think it's the the the. I mean, they're really creative, but that doesn't mean crap when you've got like your striker, at you. when your strikers aren't scoring. When you've got an injured Diego Costa, who oh, isn't even back, Spanish. Come back from yeah, he's not even Spanish. He's from Brazil, and then you've got Torres who cannot hit a barn door. You know, it's just they've got, and the thing is, they've got Negredo. That man is a goal scoring machine. Negredo, like he he had a decent season for Man City. You could even stick Fabregas up front; and he would still do better. Yeah, you can. You could like. There's quite a few players who would do all right up front for Spain. But uh-huh. maybe it's just how they play the like the the formations and stuff. I don't think. I don't think they're doing it right, but they're doing something wrong. Yeah, they're definitely doing something wrong. I mean, should we talk about the the humiliating defeat from uh, the Netherlands? I think we're going to have to. The Netherlands. It's just, we, I think it's something we kind of skip. We're going to have to. Just destroyed Spain. They picked them apart like someone at Nando's with with the chicken breasts, like the, the legs, just tearing them yep. apart. Ate them. It just destroyed them. The past better. They made the chances that... The, made the chances count, which is the most oh, important thing. You know that Cassias uh was the Van Persie goal the first one. Yes, yeah. that amazing header. <sighs> would you blame Cassias in that situation? No. Or would you no. Because when they're trying to play the offside trap for yeah. that goal yeah. I, I think they were and, and Van Persie well, after I met though hell of a header. Great reactions from Van Persie there. To, to do that because not a lot of people can have that instant reaction. Yeah, tell you what was better about that goal, the pass from the left back. Yeah, it was. Um, you just dinked it. Was there left back? Was it that Bruno Martins Indy or so you no, playing centre center back? See some of his I think faces. It was blind. Before. I think it was that blind guy. A daily blind. Yeah. 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 Did you see? Bruno Martin and Indy, they were amazing. Yes, the faces. He's got like, he's got like memes already. Like, like his eyeballs like pop You out. are now. Yeah. A meme. The, Actually, no, did not say the other. The goalkeeper's meme sitting on the goalpost. Oh, uh, um, yeah, Sillison. <laughs> yeah, Sillison yeah. sitting on things. Hey, like, edit, like toilets and like park benches. Yeah, and, and like, Van Percy. Like, the whole Holland team had memes just made out of them. Yeah, it, it's just hilarious. It was man. Amazing. But yeah, I think this World Cup Spain being a good one, apart from England. We're gonna to have to talk about England because we are uh, we are from England. I'm and, well, I'm part uh, German. I actually am as well. <laughs> yeah, quick change nationality. Do a Diego Costa. Ooh. Um, but yeah, oh man, England was so bad. Pathetic. You couldn't you couldn't put a firecracker up the arse and give them uh, like any motivation. You know what I mean? Honestly, uh, bunch of idiots running around on a field for just for like no reason. For me, the know? only player that turned up at England World Cup was Danny Sturridge. Yeah, uh, Danny Sterling. Uh, Sterling, what, what even, me, boy, Sterling. Not even really Sturridge. He like he, sh- he showed up for the first game and got a goal, and then just like didn't do anything. Raheem it's Sterling, the- what a lad! He came off the bench half. See, the thing is, as well, I think Raheem Sterling had a good first game. And Barkley and, as and well. Then, and then for me, just didn't do anything. Barkley. Yeah, Why I he didn't start? I, I really wish to give Barkley more of a chance because he's one of these people who can just like he's just attacking. You know, like a lot of the English team, like, can it be bothered after a while? Like, that oh, lad just likes to get in the box. And... Yeah, they'll just like, oh, go and have a cup of tea and a and, and, and a cake on. on the halfway line. You know, which can it be bothered? And not to mention Joe Hart. Like, the no knee- reminds us of. <laughs> have you seen Space Jam? Uh, yes. You know I... when they get so many baskets, they they jump in a hot tub at like and hot, just like <laughs> they're on the court, just in the hot tub, like just chilling. Yes. That's what it reminded us of. Yeah, but they're not winning though. Yeah, they're just losing, just having like sitting there. Yeah, and they're like, oh well, we never coming back now, so let's just let's scan chill out and have a bev. Oh, I have some bevies on the halfway line, but uh, they're so useless, England. They couldn't get themselves out a carrier bag. 
you know, and I, I think at the Euros, I think it's going to be exactly the same. I really do. I bet, I, think, I bet the England national team, after doing the wives, if they call in the Germans to finish the job off. Because they're they, they the might as well, to finish it. Well have the misses, might as well have the misses on the pitch. You know, exactly. they, would pro- they would probably do better than bloody Rooney in there. If you think about it, England's, England only scored two goals, didn't they? Yep, Rooney and two, Sturridge. The hard were tap ins. I oh, know. And that's not a good sign, you know. Yeah, it's good good movement to get into the box to do it, but they should they should shoot more. They're not shooting enough. Costa Rica scored more France. goals than us in their first game, I think. Yeah, dude, if I was if I was the manager, I'll be like what I do on pre mode. I take long shots wherever I can. I take <laughs> shots outside the box. Whenever there's a, a tiny bit of space, I'll go for a shot and that can win the match. That one decision of you going I want to go for this, and you bang it, and the guns in the top bin, you've won the match. You know what I mean? Mm. But like, oh, I don't want to take the shot, you know, because I don't want to miss and I don't want to be held responsible and all that sort of stuff. It's just like, just have a Throw shot. Balls. If what? you don't, if you don't shoot, you're not going to score. And that's what gonna... Aldo, that's Aldo's problem. He needs to grow some balls. Yeah. He just needs to shoot. If Aldo started shooting every time he got on the ball for Sunderland, he might score like one a season. <laughs> he did get one a season this season. Yeah, 100% record. Against best Chelsea? Stri- best strike in the world. How's he not worth 75 million? Against Chelsea, it was actually a good goal as well. <laughs> but uh, hashtag Altidore worth more than Suarez. Yes. Uh, I, I think that, uh, that the England team just need to kick up the arse and they just need to start shooting. If you shoot, you win. Goes in. If you don't shoot, you're never going to win. You know? Simple. Mi- simple uh... Football. Do you know what I would do? I'd be like, if we lose, right, I'm I'm just going to, like... Terminate your contract. Ha- have sex with your missus in front of you. Well, is John Terry the manager? <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I would be like John Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, that would get them motivation, you know? Exactly. I'd be like, hey, I'm going to do your missus if you don't, if you don't perform. But, uh, I think... Th- local World Cup, and uh, I think it's going to be a very long time uh, before the England team can just recover, you know, it's too many egos. You know, the egos are too big. You know, it's just, it's just annoying. It is. But, uh, should we? Uh, should we maybe talk about the FIFA 15? Sure. Co- right. So recently, the FIFA 15 cover has been announced. Um, in my opinion, I don't know. It it, it looks. Okay, but it just looks a bit like there's nothing on the box. I have something to say about it. What? Has it a year when that, like, desperate lick of Messi's ass, they've kicked everybody else off the cover just so he could be there yeah. on his own? Can you, remember, can you remember FIFA 13? They had Oxalade Chamberlain. Yeah. They had, they had Messi. Who else was it? Gareth Bale. I could probably tell you, I've got FIFA 13 here. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure it was Gareth Bale, dude. What? Well, let's have a look. I've got it most fit. Right. FIFA 12, they had Rooney and Jack Wilshere. Um, FIFA 11, they had... Let's have a look. They had Rooney and Kaka. Yeah. FIFA... Can you, can you remember FIFA 2003, when they had, like, Edgar Davids, Ryan Giggs and Carlos? FIFA 14, they have just Messi again. Yeah. Well, 13, 13's the one I was wanting. Chamberlain, right? Messi, and Joe Hart. All oh, right. I have FIFA 9 here as well, I think. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, but, uh, so basically, guys, imagine Messi just by himself on the front. That's basically the FIFA 15 cover. The colours um, are dull. I, re- I really think they should go back to doing the three player. I really like that. You know, pick yeah. three people. Still have Messi in the middle, because Minona. obviously. He's he's Minona. <laughs> he's he is poster boy like John Cena is for the WWE. Um, he's their poster Except boy. Except for Messi can perform exactly and has more moves. <laughs> but I think I think when you, I really think they should have put someone else on. You know, put James Rodriguez on. He's had a great World Cup. You know, something just something different. You know, I think that'd be great. Ah, yeah, yeah, oh, sure, yeah. I think should be on. Oh, this put the three best players in the world are up there. Have Bale and Ronaldo on either side? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I think Yaya Toure should be on it. Nah, I don't think he'll be on. He only had a bloody one good season. One, it was an amazing season. He almost beat Lampard's like best ever season in that one season. 
Yeah, that was the season when Chelsea first went dominated. Up. I think. Yeah. But uh, but uh, I would basically uh, I think that I think three people would be the best for the cover, just for the simple fact that uh, that I think it would just add more, add, would fill up more space, make the cover not look as boring. I mean, what do you think of the FIFA 14 cover? It's just messy, just standing there. I think that it, well, I'm not as bad, bad with that one because I think the colour the colour scheme's a bit nicer. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, maybe that's just me. I just like a more better looking art box. Because if you play FIFA a lot and you're constantly picking up the box, you want it to look somewhat decent. I don't, I don't want it to look like a masterpiece or something. I just want it to look... Peeling. Yeah, peeling, yeah. But yeah, the FIFA 15 covers out doesn't mean a great deal, but I thought we'd just cover it. Yeah, because um, you know, why not? Because it, it's a topic, and hopefully soon they'll start releasing uh, information that we can cover it right here um, on the Poopcast. So it'll be like gameplay, uh, hopefully career mode news. That'd be cool. And pro clubs, I'm pretty interested to see what they could do with that. I mean, if you want, you can be the ultimate team and pro clubs guy, and I'll be the career mode guy <laughs> for, for the podcast, the FIFA 15 coverage. But I, I, I just hope FIFA 15, that, that, that this emotional intelligence they're putting in isn't just another way for your player to get sent off without you doing anything. Yeah, and there's something else I want to know, which YouTubers' asses are going to lick this year. Oh, God, yeah. KSI, he's already on that list, you know. That. Yeah, oh, it would be like KSI, and the Panthers, uh, Cal I Freezy. wrote a show, I think wrote a show, maybe. Yeah, wrote a show, Matt HD, just two sync, you know. All the, all the Daniel big, Soros. <laughs> the biggest FIFA YouTuber ever. But uh, I, I think, like, when you, when you look at all these people who do the thing, I suppose for them it makes a lot of sense because, like, they're the ones who like written in the masses who can like make or break people's like decisions on what they get the game or not. Because mm. if, if if someone like really likes, say for instance, uh, KSI, and they're like, oh, I'm waiting for his FIFA 15 content to watch it, and then they'll be like, Oh, I really found that funny. I'm sorry, but if you're judging if you like a game off KSI's content, you're probably know, like, like the wrong kind of content. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, though. But if someone does like a review of it and they're like, "Oh, this is good, blah blah blah," it might change their decision on whether or not they want to get the game if they like the person, etc. But I really hope the FIFA 15 this year is just good, just better. Like FIFA 14 was all right. They're, they're, they're going in the right direction, in my right, opinion. They're going in the right direction, but I don't know if they're making the right choices. If that makes sense. The, the, if they play the cards right, they potentially could make one of the best FIFAs they've ever made in a while. Yeah, and I really think that, like you said, that they're going in the right way and they're, they're making the right moves. You know what I mean? The the making it look nicer. The Lo- the short term's good, but hopefully their long term goal's good. Yeah, hopefully they can uh, just improve career mode so it's like you never want to come off. You know? Exactly, and wig them. <laughs> exactly. But um, so, so, do you want to maybe go on to 2K15 next? You sure? I've heard a little bit about this, but not too much. Right, so basically, guys, the a teaser trailer for 2K15 got... Oh, I haven't seen it. I really want to see it now. It got showed on Monday Night Raw, and it's the pre-order bonus... They've always got to have a pre-order bonus gimmick. So you've got you had the um, the ultimate warrior, you know, all that sort of stuff. And now they've got Sting. So Sting for the first time is going to be in a WWE Sting's game. Awesome. Uh, and he's in the WWE, so that's that's pretty cool, you know. Um, I never thought I would say that in my lifetime, but yeah, now it's now it's happened. That's no complaints from me. I love Sting. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Still no gameplay. Oh, is it one of those kind of trailers? Oh yeah, it was literally about a thirty-second trailer, dude. Where you see these people like an orchestra playing the violins and stuff. Oh, and it's God. all dark. They all turn around. They've all got Sting face paint on. That's awesome. And like Sting walks up the camera and does like this like pause, like where he's like looking at it and stuff. Pretty it's pretty cool, cool but like I I want to see a sort of an action gameplay trailer. Definitely. For 2K15. Because it's meant to be insane. So hopefully uh, it's going to be 
If you want to hear what me and Anne think what they should do at 2K15, <coughs> refer back to the last podcast where we have a pretty good... Um, yeah, discussion. I thought that was a really good show, that. We uh, we had loads of 2K15 ideas. It was great so ideas as well. You can either check it out on the on the playlist or in the related videos, and um, you'll be able to see it. And uh, they've got a lot of cool... And don't forget to subscribe for more podcasts and other gameplay content. Exactly. <gasps> on streams. <laughs> exactly. Awesome content right here. And um, I think 2K15, I think if they nail it, it could be the perfect wrestling game. You know? Because 2K can do unbelievable graphics and like stuff like that and make the presentation look fantastic. And the gameplay, I'm assuming, is going to be really good as well. Because, you know, the, the NBA games and... All that sort of stuff's really Been inappropriate, fun. but I've hit 92 rating on FIFA. Nice. You've finally caught up to my rating now. <laughs> my guy's 29, though, so... Oh, my guy is... How do you tell? My actions. Yeah, you can not way as well. Yeah, my guy is... T- where are you at? <laughs> God, give me a minute. Give me a minute. God damn it. My career. Like, tentacle devilies. Like, oh, my God, where the hell is this? Elevator music right now. Right, it's 2020, music. so uh, my guy was... 26? 27? Oh, no, I can go on Squad Report. There's another My Actions. It's on My Actions. Oh, I'm 25. I'm 25. All right. But, uh, yeah, for, for 2K15, I think that's going to be really good. And I think on next gen, it's going to be a completely different game to the to the uh, Xbox 360 yeah. and thing because they've got all this sort of face technology now. Now, for the pet peeve of mine is the commentary. Change the commentary! You'd be, you'd be glad to know that they've got the commentators both in while they're recording together so it's more fluid and they've now got over 34 hours of, of dialogue recorded. Good! I bet they'll still say the same thing. Oh, oh my good. god! That was amazing! I oh, like the Jerry Lawler but like Put it, put that chair down or something. It's like no, it's an extreme rules match, you idiot. I don't know. You know. It's like just be more intelligent. Extreme rules match complains about using weapons. Yeah, I'm not asking for much. Yeah, but uh, hopefully it's awesome. Then the the multiplayer, I think that'd be pretty sweet as well. Mm. Ho- hopefully we'd uh, do some multiplayer again. <laughs> Remember our matches? Yeah, they, they were amazing. They were insane. But um, yeah, so I think um. Is there anything you want to cover? Maybe some uh, your ch- some new videos for your channel? or Ooh, Yes, yes, yes. Some channel talk? So, obviously you may have noticed uh, the channel's a bit... Not dead, but just not frequently uploaded as we used to. Slowly chugging along. Yeah. I think, I think it's the right term there. But, like I say, this is a hobby, so we just we just had a little sit back and had a little evaluation. Yeah. But now we're back, we're it's, I think it's again. best to sit back and like constantly sort of evaluate where it's going and like make make changes based on that we've just hit over 100 subs 111 at this point we've hit over 10k channel views good work congratulations um now we're uploading frequently lee's got a really good fm series going as if you like fm it's a really good series to watch i'd suggest i've got a season three of me pixelmon returned we're streaming Mm. most days on our private pixelmon server the Poopcast, we're planning on bringing that back more. We've kind of just... I don't even know why we stopped doing it. We just Well, I think it was mostly because... I was pretty busy at the time, to be you honest. You were busy, and I, I, I don't think you, you the motivation was there for you to, to do it. I was quite you... stressed about things. And... Yeah, and I think I think now... Now I think we can probably either bring it back to a week or two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Based, uh, just based on, like, if the demand and Just go on, uh, just donate to our Patreon and we will... <laughs> yeah. If you yeah. donate uh, £10,000 to the Patreon, you get a shout-out. Yes. Yeah. And that's it. And we you will might... personally not fly you out. To... <laughs> we, will, we will personally buy you a Fredo. Well, actually, with... I don't know, like... With with that money that you donated, and we'll oh, only have right. ten pence left. I don't know. We might be able to get half a Fred over that. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's it's all good, man. We, we, good we can we'll try and bring it back, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see how how everything goes. Because it just it's, it's a supply and demand kind of thing. Yeah, so. I, I'm not. I'm just saying this here. This potentially could be one of the longest poop casts. I feel like it's gonna be. Yeah. It, well, it's we've had a lot of talk about, and especially the football. A good return. Might as well have a good return. 
Exactly. So make sure, guys, to make uh, leave some comments down below for me and Connor, because uh, we've talked quite a lot about certain topics that we feel like you could contribute well, a lot actually, to. Well, actually, I've got a topic now. All right, okay. Um, cheat you. Is there any heists? No! <laughs> Are you still surprised? More free DLC, though. Bloody hell. Oh, by the way, um, I was doing the, some glitches, and I've now got, like, 17 million. Yes, I know. I mean, friends so, tell us about them. So heists aren't even, like... What a goal. Aren't even <laughs> relative now, you know? It's just, like, when heists come out, I'll just do them, because the, that's something new, you know? <laughs> It's like, I don't need the money, but I'll do it just because it'll be somewhat entertaining to do, you know? Yep. yep. But, uh, yeah, there's the GTA uh, coming to PS4 and all that sort of stuff. I know uh, my friend said it was coming to PC soon. Yeah, it is. I saw, I, I'm so excited to see what people are going to do on PC. With yeah, us. that's what I mean. Uh, I'm, not, I'm so about. looking forward to r slash gaming on, on Reddit just to be filled Definitely. up with screenshots of someone like riding a, a dinosaur as like a motorbike uh, or something you we know? should make a reddit page for this poop <laughs> we probably should uh. I, I might look into that actually yeah but yeah there's, there's there's been lots of stuff going on since the last poop cast and uh i can't remember half of it but we've covered quite a lot so um, uh is there anything you want to talk about before we maybe uh wrap it up in a little bit um i can't think of anything he puts on the spot okay just <laughs> i just want to clarify Right. That an album I've been listening to quite a lot. Like, oh, we haven't a lot. The old segments. Yes, I've been listening to a lot of Van Halen recently. Nice. Have you listened to Van Halen by Van Halen? Yes, that's that's uh, the main one. Obviously, yeah. I know we've talked about this album before, but it's oh, just how amazing. Cool was that? Uh, that was, I think, one of my first ones. I think it was. It was in the top three or four albums of the week. Uh, when I was when we were doing that segment, Doesn't we should probably start bringing that back. Probably. But uh, have you got any? Have you got a whinge of the week? Uh, damn, I hate being put in the spot. <laughs> As you can tell, guys, we are, we are extremely uh, well prepared here. We are. Um, just <laughs> that's our incredible professionalism. It is coming right through there. I can't think of anything I've. Uh, Winched yeah. about. I, I, I can't really think of anything at the minute. I mean, I winch about everything, but I can't think of anything to winch. I've winched about. We, we can talk about PKA if you want. Sure. With the whole oh. Patri oh, the Patri oh. thing, because I, I like it. If I'm being honest, I think I think it's a good. I, like it. uh, I think it's a good idea to to like uh, for people to donate so they can get different perks. Hold on, I just uh, want to quickly shout out uh, Painkiller already is the be uh, the biggest gaming pod. Well, not maybe the biggest, but. In my opinion, the best game and podcast on the internet. Uh, past the podcast. Except from the podcast. But yeah, you exactly. should check them out. They're really funny. They do our four hour shows a week on Saturdays, I think they're released. Yes. And yes, there's a. Good shows. Uh, quite content 18 and over, if I'm being honest, but it's really good. Yeah. Uh, it, I wouldn't watch Peak Gear if you're. You're quite young. If you're quite young, because there is sort of. Inappropriate sometimes, but. Very inappropriate. But and the hosts uh, are genius, and it's just a well coordinated show, and I like to think it's the inspiration for the podcast. A quick, a quick little point here. I don't know if you picked this up, but one of the one of the, I think it was the last peak here. They were talking about well, no, doing, they were talking about doing vlogs with the people, like some of the people with for Patreon. If they hit like it's like a certain thing. Mm. Now that's interesting because Kyle still hasn't showed his face yet. He's got this new gimmick at the minute where he puts stuff on the screen. <laughs> I like it. I think it's <laughs> genius. It's his new gimmick, and he puts stuff on the screen for you to watch instead of his face. I think it's genius. And, uh, it's going to be interesting to see this Patreon thing, because it's like, are they going to let people record or do vlogs with the PKA guys and then upload them? Oh, that's a good point. Actually, I never thought of that. Or are they going to have to get the permission to do a vlog and then black out Kyle's Probably. better than what Woody did? Um, <laughs> You know, it's it's gonna it's gonna be interesting because, like I said, they're doing they're doing a show with them. If you give if you pay so much, you got to do a live peak gear show with them. Uh, they'll fly out and all that sort of all that sort of shit. I wonder if anyone's willing to pay that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I like, got injured. But uh, oh my, that was the worst defending I've ever seen. But uh, like, I, I see the thing is, 
I like the idea of supporting something that you like. I'll you, support it if I'm. And you're enthusiastic bothered. about it. You're like, every Saturday. I look I, forward to it every Saturday. I, you look forward to the new episode of PK. Hopefully, like you do, the poop cast. And, um, you know, but. The, I think the, the, the steps, the stages, are too ridiculous. I understand that, that they want to make money, right? But five to ten grand? Are you serious? But they want to fly you out like Las Vegas and stuff. I know, but that, that that's not the point. Yeah, but there's somebody that might be worth it getting to meet like an idol or like a... Like, at the end of the day, you're chucking five grand down the drain. Five grand to them is probably nothing. And it all depends you know? on some people, you know, to be honest. W- Woody admitted that he's like got like... Over a million dollars accidentally on one of the PKs. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I remember seeing that. And I, uh, I bet Kyle's got like a few mil. Yeah, Kyle's probably. I would say he's well off. Um, and it's just like I don't understand why they've got so much money for some of the stages. You know, mm. I bet yeah, a lot of the people who watch the PK. I hope Chiz doesn't go to Las Vegas. Won't be able to afford. They won't be able to afford. Putting that stuff, you know. Will Bitches be going on the peak year stuff? Because then it's kind of like he must well, be no. part of peak year if he's going on the trips. If you think though, I think Chiz is now the fourth host. I don't want him to be personally. If you think about, I don't it, have no, I don't have nothing wrong with Chiz. I just don't want to be a fourth host for some reason. I prefer think a guest. You haven't solidified a host yet. I will prefer a guest or me. I haven't Chiz on every I'll, other show. I know. I prefer a guest I'm or me. Thinking. The way the way it's going with Chiz, I reckon that he it, that he's I think he's the fourth horse now because they're all like lol mates and that, and they all like talk and play games together. I mean, the fact that Chiz was on PKA Players mm, kind of sh- shows to you that he's the fourth horse, but they don't want to say that because it'll piss people off, you know. And I can't believe that people are still talking about like wanting wings back, ah. you know. Like, every time I look through the comments, they still keep, like, saying, oh, you know, this show's nothing with... It's like, like it's been better without them, because it's, it's, it's less weird be- talk and more actual decent talk. Exactly, and, you know, I'm, I'm sort of... I'm, I'm intrigued by this whole Patreon thing. I think like, it'll be interesting to see how podcasts evolve in the future. I mean, at the minute, I don't know how YouTube works with, like... Uh, can you like how can you support podcasts on YouTube I'm not even shooting you like just yeah, donate right. yeah it's, it's and that tip jar that's coming out yeah but uh, I think it's crazy make sure like let us know uh, guys what you think of the whole uh, if you watch PK that is the idea of paying up to ten thousand dollars um just to hang out with three people on the internet who you've never met who you watch the videos of I think it's just a bit ridiculous I, you think, know? I think they will do something to make it worth ten, like uh, worth it not like you're just going over to meet them I bet they'll do something maybe if you paid like a thousand dollars and you were on the show and that was the top one and all the rest was like merchandise or like shout outs like sponsors on the show sort of thing I think that would have been better but the fact that you have to, like there's that there just shows you that the like a bit greedy to be honest personally I think if you got the money and you really want to do it go for it I'm not going to say that yeah. I think it's just because I'm really Jewish and I, don't, I wouldn't want to spend that kind of money on them so am I but I don't. I wouldn't pay, I think I would pay like maybe five bucks a month for them but I wouldn't go any higher than that five bucks because I think I think that much a month gets you a weekly podcast I think or like something like that like topics and hosts before the show yeah Oh, that RSS phase? Yeah, I might actually... I'm thinking yeah. about doing it, to be honest, because I love PK and I'd love to know who the guests and stuff was before. Yeah. Ah, well, I suppose... I th- personally, I think Philly D is going to be the next book go- post, because uh, if you look on r slash PK, Woody's now following uh, Philip DeFranco, as well as yeah. Martin's mom. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how how that sort of thing goes. Who knows, maybe in the future, if, uh, if it ever takes off, maybe we can maybe do something like that. That'll be pretty interesting. It would be cool. Yeah, but um, I, I, can you think of anything else to talk about before we wrap it up, or should we call it a, should we call it a show? I'll let you call it. Right, so uh, thanks, guys, for listening. This is uh, Let's Ramble On. 
yeah you've it's been quite a long episode this uh but hopefully you've enjoyed it uh make sure to leave a like for the return of the podcast that'll mm-hmm. be awesome make sure to subscribe as well because connor's uh, got some good content coming out in the minute hells yeah and i really think that you'll uh, that you'll like it and uh yeah make sure to leave some comments because we've talked about quite a lot of stuff and hopefully we'll see you soon on the ne- next episode of the podcast see you later guys bye bye